Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video, I get a chance to play with HP players such as Alcaraz and Sinner at the Rogers Cup in Montreal at the Masters 1000. As you can see here, I start hitting with Carlos Alcaraz uh, down the middle. Um, he was probably one of my favorite players to play with. Um, when I found out I was hitting with him, I was so excited. Uh, at the time, he was number one in the world, and I, I asked one of my fellow hitting partners if they could come film some of the hit because I really wanted to get some footage of this. As you can see, we're just hitting down the middle. Um, he's very chill. Even though he's hitting good quality, he's very relaxed, uh, trying to have more of a fun warm-up not too serious, you know, he's throwing in some slices here and there. Um, and then here he hits a big forehand. One of the things that's most uh, impressive with Carlos and with the pros that I got to hit with at the Rogers Cup was definitely their consistency of their ball striking. No matter what they receive, if it's if the ball's in or out or slice, whether the ball's difficult, they just are able to really hit the ball the same way over and over and over again. As you can see here, we did a few volleys. Some of you may remember the famous Alcaraz and Center Point in Montreal practice point. Uh, I was actually watching this video on the right. I was able to see it live. Incredible point. Um, I actually hit with Alcaraz on the court right next to this one on the right. Um, this point was ridiculous. Everyone went absolutely crazy. Practices between these two are probably the most impressive practices you will ever see. Footage uh, before the tournament, uh, he was working alone with uh, Ferrero. His, um, his coach just pounding some forehands. And this is footage of him against uh, Tommy Paul. Um, what's one of the benefits of being a hitting partner is that you can go courtside of, of any match you want. And when you have time in between hits, that's what the, the hitting partners do. I then hit with uh, Yannick Sinner. As you can see here, this is more of a training. Uh, this was done before the tournament had started. Um, he had just come off the court uh, with Diego Schwartzman. And we the first thing that we did was he did serve plus one. So it was pretty funny because I wasn't really... I was warmed up in terms of physically, but I hadn't really hit. That was my first hit of the day. And then I had to return Yannick Sinner's serve right away. Uh, I did a pretty decent job, but in this one I was a bit more nervous because I'm also hitting next to Darren Cahill, who I had seen a year uh, before when he was working with Simona Halep. Um, so in, in, these foot, in these videos, you can see that he's working on his cross court and down the line shots, but he's practicing <laughs> his uh, variety, so he's playing a lot of slices, but more specifically he's trying to practice his uh, his drop shot, but making sure it's disguised well enough so that I can't read it and then run it down. Here we just go back and forth with a few volleys and then I end up unfortunately missing the volley. Um, we continue to work on his disguise of the drop shot. Um, I was probably more nervous in this one than with uh, Carlos. Uh, because Carlos, it was like very chill from the beginning. We just hit like down the middle from the get-go and he, he didn't he wasn't hitting too hard at the beginning but here we went from I went straight away to return his serve and then to hit down the line with my forehand and then here we work on volley volley I unfortunately was nervous still so I was like yep I hit it behind the back nice <laughs> um, but still here I was able to hit some good volleys um, using that double-handed backhand for extra security because I didn't want to miss. What I like a lot about Sinner's volleys is his short preparation, but his ability to hit the volley very hard. That's something that's pretty hard to do. Um, such a short backswing, but he's able to really punch that volley 
pretty hard, so there's not a lot of time for me to react. Nice, Darren was happy that I hit a winner on him. Darren was also not happy with my, uh, my feeding ability. I was feeding too high and Sinner was uh, punching volleys, as you can see here, a little too high. And then Darren, Darren, said, a, Darren said a comment. <laughs> I have to work on my volleys, or sorry, not my volleys, but uh, my feeds. <laughs> but I think I was doing a pretty decent job with keeping up with the volleys, to be honest. I could have been doing a much worse job, so I was I was making most of the volleys. Here, uh, this is just the reality of tennis tournaments, rain delays. That was Rublev, and here, this is Kyrgios aka chill king taking it pretty easy and yeah once again one of the perks of being a hitting partner is we can go to matches in between hits um and then i hit with diego schwartzman for his match against davidovich fokina i also warmed up davidovich fokina which is sometimes what happens when you're a hitting partner you hit you warm up two guys that are playing against each other once again uh, i was able to find a seat courtside and I, I watched a bit of Fokina and Diego Schwartzman. Davidovic has honestly improved a lot, and Diego, since this time, has digressed in the tennis world. I believe he's out of the top 100, um, but still very impressive to watch courtside. This is a perfect view to watch tennis. Here, uh, Schwartzman defeated Fokina. And then I hit with uh, Felix, my good friend back in the day. We used to play uh, in Tennis Canada together. And then this is just a sneak peek of 2023. I was I hit with Elena Rybakina on center court. I got some footage from, from that day as well. Um, I also hit with Iga Swiatek in this tournament, but I wasn't able to get any footage, but I hit with, I warmed her up for several of her matches. This is honestly one of the better jobs uh, that I could ask for being a being around ATP WTA players and being able to play with them is so cool. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more content in the future.